John, what are you doing? He came five hours to be here with us, man. The saga Chill. in the flesh. In New York City, what's your name? St. Keith. St. Keith. And the GOAT, the GOAT, ladies and gentlemen. Gang, gang. Where's Lugo? I was saying on east side. So we about to head to Times Square photos. Paul Russell's gonna get here. I'm wearing Paul Russell's jacket. I'm so fresh right now. I know so it's disrespectful. disrespectful. Am I disrespectful? Is that disrespectful? It's hella disrespectful. I think it's disrespectful if I put it in the vlog, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we finna head to Times Square. I actually need to get some clothes. I didn't pack a lot of clothes because I brought all the merch because I'm a selfless kind of guy trying to get everybody paid. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and then, and maybe a music video and a commercial for the remix contest. Current weather is uh, about 35 degrees. It's not too bad. I feel like it could be much worse. I wrote this on the plane, check me out, check. A lot of talk, big talk. Walking on the side, big walk. Give me another line, that's big chalk. Look at them birds, that's big flock. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for it. Y'all wasn't ready. Y'all didn't know I was gonna do that. <laughs> Don Key showed up to the studio the other day, had these black these black boots on, and at first I got mad at him because I was like, bro, what is wrong with you spending $175 on some Tims? Like, don't do that, that's not wise. And then I looked. Tim's last generation. And then I looked. That's a fact. And they weren't real Tims, guys. <laughs> they ain't real. And then I, <laughs> Yeah, no, they're not real. I would never go spend that much money on real Tims. I wouldn't do that. And then I thought to myself. H and M Tims. And then I thought to myself, I don't know if I'm more mad. <laughs> <laughs> would I have been more mad if he bought real Tim's? No, no, I, I, tell you, I tell you, he, he would be more mad if he found out that it was real because he's like, John, what are you doing? How come you spend money on Tim's, John? And I was like, oh, he's like, oh, they're, okay, yeah, they're fake. All right, sweet, man. All right, well, let's take some photos. Uh, John Keith got me feeling all insecure for wearing a false jacket. <laughs> if you notice, know I've been kicking it with both feet. So then I shouldn't keep this story thing low key. Tell them what you mean, for the beans, kid. I was looking for a dream in a dean's list. Paul Russell. You guys know about Paul Russell? You know about Paul Russell? Nobody? You know about Paul Russell? So this building right here that I'm standing behind, this building right here, is one of the most historical buildings in New York City, Times Square specifically, it goes all the way back to like 1910. And the interesting part is that building sits vacant, 90% vacant because the owners make so much money off of it on, uh, on ads, on the billboards. And so it's kind of funny if you think about that, in the middle of Times Square, one of the most appealing corners is a vacant facade that has nothing inside of it. It's crazy. Mm. So first Just and foremost, Paul Russell's here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? It's true. Took the train from Ithaca, New York. Ithaca, New York. Five hours. He came five hours to be here with us, man. With us. This is for you. Is this for the me? The camera. No, no, not you. Oh, them and the camera. Folks back at home. Folks back at home. Thank you. He came five hours to be on the vlog. Yeah. And we're actually trying to lay down a song from scratch. I made a beat earlier, but we're trying to do a whole song. I'll show you guys a little, uh, hey John, let me show him a little setup. Yeah, this is the worst ever. Look at that, see? So what you got is you got my coat, and that's the that's the acoustical treatment right here into a podcast mic. It's not even a condenser microphone. And John Keith is sitting on the laptop. The, good, the, best, the best saving grace about this is we got the quartet right behind there. The Chill. saga Chill. in the ah, flesh. Ah. In the <laughs> flesh. You know it's a New York. You know it's a New York you know thing New York. When, when, when the saga's in the building. Ah. That's a fact fact. Bro, this is the smallest suite I've ever been to in my entire life. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Literally the smallest. I'll go from the suit. outside though. I'm like, oh, it looks nice from the outside, and you get in, and it's yeah. a room <laughs> and a room. King's living like king. <laughs> I'm like, oh, from the outside. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. Saga took us to uh, what's the place called? Dallas Bubba Quah. Why are we eating Dallas barbecue in New York though? The dope part is the seating in this place. We got our own little our little section. And then oh just to, just to make it authentic New York. Dallas, they put one of those up there. And one of those up there. I'd be lying if I didn't say that New York was probably my favorite city. I'm a Cali boy. I love where I live. I love the weather. Obviously, this is where I was raised, but man, I've always had this weird connection with New York City. And there's nothing like being able to see friends great conversation, getting to perform and take it all in. There's something about the energy of New York. There's something about the atmosphere, the grind, the hustle and bustle. And I'm forever a Cali boy, but man, do I love coming out, enjoying the city, getting work done, just having a blast, so. Shout out to everybody from New York. If you ever want to book me for a show, just know that anybody on the East Coast in the tri-state area is probably going to get a discount. <laughs> Glad to be back home. Man, there's nothing like New York City. Yeah, kick it both feet though. Yeah, y'all got veto. Yeah, blood.